In this video, we're going to talk about how to use synthetic division on any polynomial. So let's start with this problem. Let's say we have the polynomial x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. And we wish to divide it by x plus 3. How can we use synthetic division to do so? If we set x plus 3 equal to 0, and if we solve for x, we'll get that x is negative 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this negative 3 on the left, and then we're going to write the coefficients of the numerator, which are 1, 3, negative 4, negative 12. So let's write that here. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to bring down the 1. And then we're going to multiply. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And then add. 3 plus negative 3 is 0. And then multiply. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. And then add. So you're constantly adding and multiplying. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. And negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. And these two numbers add up to 0. So the last number that you get here is the remainder. So we have a remainder of 0. So what is our answer? If you divide x cubed by x, you're going to get x squared. So this is the coefficient for x squared. It's 1x squared plus this is the coefficient for x, 0x, and then minus 4. Now, we could ignore 0x. So therefore, the answer is going to be x squared minus 4. And so that's how you could use synthetic division on polynomials, if you wish to divide polynomials. Now, let's try another problem. Let's say we have x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 8. And let's divide it by x minus 2. So based on the last example, Go ahead and try this one. So let's begin by writing the coefficients. So it's 1, 1, negative 2, negative 8. Now, since we have x minus 2, we need to change the negative 2 to a positive 2. If you set x minus 2 equal to 0, you'll get x is equal to 2. So let's bring down the first coefficient, which is 1, and then multiply. 2 times 1 is 2, and then add. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. And once again, we have a remainder of 0. So this is going to be 1x squared and then plus 3x plus 4. And so that's the answer, x squared plus 3x plus 4. Now let's try one more example. So let's divide x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. And we're going to divide that by x minus 3. So feel free to pause the video and work on it. By the way, for those of you who want more problems on synthetic division, or for those of you who want to do a long division, uh, check out the description section below. I'm going to post some more videos on those topics. Now the first thing we need to do is put a 3 out based on the x minus 3 term. And my lines are never straight. And then let's write the coefficients. 1, 5, negative 3 and 4. So let's bring down the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 5 plus 3 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Negative 3 plus 24 is 21. And 3 times 21 is 63. 63 plus 4, 67. So this time, the remainder is not 0. So I'm going to write that here. We have a remainder of 67. We'll talk more about that shortly. 
So now what is the answer? So this is the coefficient for x squared, and then this is the coefficient for x, and then we have our constant term, but what do we do with this? Since we have a remainder, it's going to be the remainder divided by what we try to divide it by, x minus 3. And so that's the answer. So x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 3 is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 21 plus 67 over x minus 3. Now, I want to show you something. So let's get rid of this. We're going to focus on the polynomial in the numerator. So let's call it f of x. So f of x is x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 3 based on what we see here, x minus 3. Because when we use 3 for synthetic division, we got this as the remainder. So this is going to be 3 to the third power plus 5 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 4. 3 to the third power is 27. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is also 9. And then 5 times 9 is 45. Negative 9 plus 4. That's negative 5. And 45 minus 5 is 40. 27 plus 40 is 67. So synthetic division can be used to evaluate functions, particularly at very large numbers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test what we just learned. So let's say that f of x is 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 8. And let's evaluate this function at x equals 4. And then we're going to use synthetic division to confirm our answer. So let's do it the old-fashioned way. Let's plug in 4. So what is 4 to the third power? 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Now what about 4 squared? 4 times 4 is 16. And then 5 times 4 is 20. Now 2 times 64. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 16. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 6 is 18. 30 plus 18 is 48. And 20 minus 8 is 12. Now, 128 minus 48, that's 80, and 80 plus 12 is 92. So I'm going to write that over here. f of 4 is equal to 92. So let's use synthetic division to see if we can get the same answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide our polynomial f of x by x minus 4. And so that translates to a synthetic division problem that looks like this, where this is positive 4. And we have the coefficients 2, negative 3, 5, and negative 8. So starting with 2, we have 4 times 2, which is 8, and then negative 3 plus 8, that's 5. 4 times 5 is 20, and then 5 plus 20 is 25, 4 times 25 is 100, and negative 8 plus 100 is 92. And as you can see, these two values are the same. So you could use synthetic division to evaluate functions. This is known as the remainder theorem, and you can check it out when you get a chance. But that's basically it for this video. So if you like it, feel free to subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to check out the video content that I have in the description section below. Also, when you get a chance, check out my new algebra video playlist. 
you could check it out in my channel. I do have some other topics like chemistry, physics, trig, geometry, pre-calculus, and calculus, if of course you need help in those topics. So thanks again for watching.